Mr Swan, thanks for your time. It's always a pleasure, Brian, and good evening. Well, the High Court's uh, blown your asylum seeker policy out the water, hasn't it? They haven't blown anything oh, out of the on. water, Brian. What they've done is clarify the position. They've upended government policy. They haven't, haven't upended they? anything. What they've done, Brian, is that they have made a judgment which refers to Australia's responsibilities under the UN Refugee Convention. And, Mr Swan, are there any other UN agreements we've signed without grasping their meaning? It's not just us, Brian. Obviously, the opposition agrees completely with the government here. So Completely. You're both, so you're both wrong? We're not both wrong, Brian. We're on either sides of a discussion. But except on this issue, Mr Swan, you said you wanted to break the people smugglers' business model. We want to break their business model. Yeah. Do you think they've worked this out at Harvard? How to do that? Brian, look, what, I, what we're referring to here is that it's quite clear what these people smugglers do. It's quite clear that people smugglers make money by transporting people illegally. Desperate people. Desperate people illegally. Desperate people, Brian. That's why the price is up. And, they do and it you illegally want to stop and them they from take doing them it. and they put And them... you want to stop them doing it. We do it. want we of course we want to stop them doing it. You want to break their business model, right? That's, what, that's how we're gonna we are determined to break their business model. Why not do it for nothing? Provide the service ourselves. Yeah. It's been done before. What do you mean it's been done before? Well, the Irish poor were shipped out here for nothing for 20 years. Brian, they were criminals. And they were criminals. That is exactly my point. These we... people are just homeless, terrified and have nowhere else to go. How on earth would we go into competition with the people smugglers? How would we do it? Well, why not have a ship that leaves the Gulf states once a week? A ship? We provide a ship that brings people down here? Sure. Brian, we'd be swamped. Mr Swan, under 1% of the world's asylum seekers come to Australia. We're not that popular. It won't be 1% if we're providing a government-sponsored cruise down here once a week, Brian. We'll do it once a month. The people smugglers will disappear. You couldn't sell that to the Australian public in a fit. Your mob couldn't sell lambs to a kiwi. I beg your pardon, we're very good at selling Listen, our... Listen, we couldn't even sell to the electorate a tax on super profits from foreign mining companies in a global recession uh, with energy costs going through the roof. That You're hopeless. That, that sounds clever, Brian. No, it doesn't. That's the problem, Mr I mean, Swan. you think you sound clever. You don't sound very clever to me. I sound clever to me, Brian. I'm trying to Thanks help. Thanks for your time. I'm trying to help. Thanks for your time. God, you got up the wrong side this morning, Brian. You been to the toilet?